what I'm going to talk about has its origins in linear algebra, in solving systems of equations by Gaussian elimination. So what you do in Gaussian elimination is you, you make the, a, a bunch of equations with a bunch of unknowns simpler. Roughly speaking, you want to reduce the number of unknowns by, by one. Uh, that, that's, the, that's the key step. And what I'm going to do is talk about how that is related to, to geometry, to studying arrangements of lines and planes and things like that. And what you, well, what, what happens in geometry that, that corresponds to reducing the number of unknowns by one is relating some geometry problem to a geometry problem in a smaller dimension, uh, to, to, to make life simpler by making it lower dimensional. So here's a picture. There's a simple geometric object. Actually, what I'm going to do here is make it more complicated by, by adding a dimension. So every place I had a point on my stick figure, I'm going to make a circle. And I end up with going from this, this stick figure uh, on the left to, to the actual Michelin man on, on the right. And that's, that's the whole idea, uh, it is relating simpler geometry to more complicated geometry. So how's this going to go? So, so here's a system of three equations and three unknowns. And I'm always going to look at systems that have only one solution. So how do you go about solving this? Well, the, the easiest case to solve, th this is a special case, uh, when, when the system just looks like this. And the way you solve it is you divide each of those equations by the, the coefficient of the unknown, and, and there's the solution. So that, that's not rocket science. So the, the slightly more complicated case is this lower triangular system. And the, the way you solve this by Gaussian elimination is you add some multiple of this first equation to, to the second one to get rid of that x1. And you keep going like that. Always you add some multiple of one of the equations to a later one. And in the end, it turns out to be diagonal. Uh, so here's a slightly more complicated equation. Uh, it, it's not lower triangular now. Uh, but you can do the same kind of thing.